Talking like I'm on the last cigarette Cause I had to take it back to square one, nigga Sometimes to win the war, man, you gotta lose a battle But if I lose a girl, just know my next one gonna be battle When I pulled up to the church, ooh, they thought it was the pastor Heaven sent, raising hell, same time, well, that's the rapture Didn't go to class for a second, I swear I would've failed everything My passport was the only thing I'm passing Flying overseas, turning dreams into habits, turning coast to Alright, so what is up, everybody on YouTube? Welcome to the new revamped featured fit rotation now what I'm going to be trying to do is week in and week out, one week will be the fit rotation and one week will be the sneaker rotation. So you got to just sit back, relax and enjoy. If you don't mind, go ahead and click like because this did take me hours to shoot. Hopefully it won't take as long to edit, but we will see. So let's go ahead and get into the outfit number one. Alright guys, so for the first fit, we're going to start off with the flash fit, and I call it the flash fit because of the T and the hat. But let's start from the bottom and work our way up. Okay, so on the bottom, we have my Flyknit Roshi IDs. Of course, these are the multicolor pairs, and if you want to check it out or make your own, I will leave a link down below. Um, I went ahead and threw on the gold foil swoosh on mine, and my ID on the back says Sample 225.94, because February 25th is 94 is when I was born. The sample thing kind of goes with my brand, Sample Industries. Uh, just kind of mixing two concepts. As far as the shorts go, just went with some heathered gray Stussy World Tour uh, sweatshorts. I got those from um, Black Market US. The shirt is from my dudes over at Brigade NYC. Shouts out to them. Definitely check them out. Of course, it has 3M reflective material printing on the front. So as you guys see, whenever you take a picture, it flashes. The Brigade flashes. It was the hat. It's from the hundreds, and I got that from Jack Threads. Has 3M all over the hat, 3M on the shirt, and the gold tinfoil suture on the um, Roshis. I thought go got went with the kind of flashy um, aspect of this fit. Okay guys, so for this next fit, number two, we're going to call it the You Weren't Rockin' Supreme back in 09 when you could catch Dom K on Fairfax fit. Why am I calling it that? Because I was called the biggest hype beast by someone on Instagram and that was one of the pieces of their argument that I wasn't wearing it back in 09 when you could catch Dom Candy on Fairfax. I thought that was the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life and if he watches this, just know that's the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life. But anyways, let's get into the fit. Up top, we got the Pedro Bell for Supreme shirt. Um, Pedro Bell, from what I've been reading, is a funkadelic artist. He did some art for uh, different album covers and stuff. Um, it's a very bright and vibrant t-shirt, as you guys can see. As far as the pants go, I just went with some embellished um, biker cargos, and they do fit me a little big. I really wish um, I had a 34. Um, so if you are looking to embellish bottoms, definitely go true to size. Up top, I have the Huff hat that everyone has always asked me about. I do not believe that any of these hats are still available. I got them a long time ago. Um, it's the Huff Metal H Strap Back. And as far as the shoes go, we have the Supreme and Comme des Garçons um, Collab Skate High. Of course, the Herald Hunter call out on the actual size of the shoe. Dope pair of uh, Vans. I'm just loving the Supreme, you know, with the polka dots in the back. Just a clean van silhouette, and yes, I do rock one with black laces and one with white. Alright y'all, so number three for our fit list, we're going to call this one the Ryan Seacrest fit. Why? Because base God. I mean, that's really the only reason I can give you. Um, and if, <laughs> By the way, the whole base God curse joint on James Harden, like I don't even really watch basketball, but when Lil B gets involved and the whole Lil B curse is, is there, um, that joint is just hilarious to me. All he had to do was admit that he got it from the base God and this would not be happening. Or they could have just got swept by Golden State either way. doesn't matter. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into this fit. This fit isn't really complicated at all. Really cozy, really easy. Um, uh, got a Huff and Thrasher collab uh, soccer jersey. Went ahead and thrown the Adidas ZX Fox Xenos. Um, and also for the pants, I went ahead and threw Nike Tech Fleece pants. 
and I did this on purpose for those people who pay too much attention and care just too much about the brands matching. So I did this on purpose. I wore Adidas with Nike Tech Fleece pants and I'll wear Nikes with Adidas T-Row pants, Tyro pants, whatever, the soccer pants. Anyways, that's the Ryan Seacrest fit. Simple and cozy. Rugby, shit, college sports, base guy, goal, I'ma need some bitches, congratulations, I got an injury, great, but I'm still starting, yes, I got drafted for a hundred million, this guy's I'm fucking base guy. Worst rapper to ever spit on an open mic. Worst rapper to ever get on so many lights. All right, guys. So number five, we have another fit dealing with the beach. I actually went out to the ocean front um, recently. So this one, let's start from the bottom up again. We have the Adidas Y3 Yoji Boost on feet. If you're going for these, definitely go. I would say true to size. Um, I have a size. I think these are a 12 and a half, and they are a bit big for me. Um, and also with the shape of this shoe, it's very free form, so it's super comfortable and that boost technology is what people say it is. Boost is the truth, um, for sure. As far as the shorts go, I got these shorts from All Might, my homies over at All Might. Um, shout outs to them, I don't believe these shorts are available anymore, um, but they do have some more stuff coming, so if you do, you can follow them at All Might. Up top, I want to give a big shout out to the people over at Badland Supply Co. Um, this is a jersey that I've had for a while. It's the White Mesh Nomad jersey. And those lettering, as well as um, well, the lettering on the front, as well as the two strips on the sleeve, are neoprene. If you're wondering what neoprene is, basically, um, it's like a wetsuit material. Um, really nice jersey. I love it because it's all. I don't really have a lot of all white jerseys. It's just clean look. As far as the hat goes, I went with my new Cave M hat I got from Black Market USA. Um, you know, it's a solid hat, man. The, the construction on it, the quality is great. Now, would I pay 85 full price for it? Probably not, but 50, you know, I'll flex with it. Anyways, that is fit number five. Talking behind his back when he walking out. Me and fam in the corner, what are they talking about? Same dudes who laughing after you go. Be the same dudes emailing, asking you about your show. It's on FX, type nigga. Me and my homies making flicks. Me and my homies making beats. Me and my homies making hits. Me and my homies hit the spot. Roll with us, gold diggers. I don't really like those niggas. Childish like goldfish. We saw this king. Okay guys, for the fit number six and final fit, we're going to go ahead and talk about, I'm going to call this one the Hall of Fame fit. Um, basically, this was the one with the most pieces out of everything. Um, let's start from the bottom and go work our way to the top once again. Alright, so we have the all-white Hirachis, pure platinums. 
Of course, for the shorts, I have these Ambig shorts. Ambiguous is the brand. They're kind of a deep burgundy color. I got them in my true size of 34, and I got them from jackthreads.com. Uh, the shirt that I have underneath the jersey is from Zane Robe. It is the Flintlock tee. The jersey I have over the Flintlock tee is from 10 Deep, and I also got that from uh, Jack Threads, size medium. Um, and the shirt from Zane Robe is size large. Um, I like to size up in shirts that I usually wear under or shirts that are basic and elongated tees just so I can wash them and shrink them. Since they don't have any graphics on them, it doesn't really matter. Um, and the hat is called the 10 Deep Sasable Snapback. I have people still asking me where to get this. Um, the last colorway that I've seen that was available was the gray colorway. I don't think this one is available anymore. But that is it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave your opinions down below. Any constructive criticism, I will take. Um, and if you did, man, definitely go ahead and leave a thumbs up, drop a positive comment because this took a while to do, get around to, and I may have to switch around the schedule for the scheduling for these type of videos. So y'all be easy. Much love to all the fan followers and supporters. You guys can follow me here, there, Blase, Blase, Snups, Instagram, Twitter, you know, wherever, at Bold RC. I'm going to see you guys next video. Much love. Peace. Go down, penis. Go down, penis.